Hi everybody. I hope you're all staying safe and sane and healthy right now. If this is the first time you're seeing my face, I know you're probably just enthralled by my beauty, so I'll give you a second to just kind of take it all in. But for real, if you don't know who I am, my name is Kyle Suchia. I'm a drummer based in Minneapolis, Minnesota, and I've been primarily involved in the marching world, uh, performing with groups like Minnesota Brass, The Blue Coats, and Broken City. So I decided to be a part of the virtual drum and bugle corps this summer. For those that don't know, the regular drum corps season was canceled, unfortunately, because of the coronavirus. <laughs> but then emerged this beautiful virtual drum corps project that is making the marching arts still happen this year. I decided to join this for a couple of reasons. The first being, you know, what else am I going to do right now? And secondly, I just feel very passionate about furthering the activity, keeping the activity moving forward. And the global pandemic we're in kind of threw a wrench in that. I first heard about this endeavor from Elliot Cleveland, who is the marching health guy and also serves on the VDBC team. And I wasn't sure at first. Like I make videos, okay? So I know how difficult it is to make something like this good when you have hundreds of different videos to compile from different people with different cameras and microphones and varying skill levels. And also, you know, I didn't know who was gonna be writing the music. Like, was this gonna actually be a quality composition and a quality product? But there are actual quality creators on board with this project. Ben Piles, who writes and works with Mandarins and Monarch, is the battery ranger and he writes cool stuff. There are actual video editors and sound editors on board to make this thing actually look and sound good. It really became this strong, organized, and powerful movement that I could just not say no to, that I could not, not be a part of. So I sent in my audition and I made it. Thank you, yes. I was assigned the part of World Class Snare Drum and the video is doing like three days and I haven't learned any of the music yet, so. Uh, <laughs> I should, should probably get on that. Okay, so uh, I have my practice pad here. I have the music up on my laptop right now. And um, basically whenever I have to learn the music, you know, it's, all, it's important to always use a metronome when you're practicing, but when you're learning something new, I think it's good to just get it in your hands first um, and kind of just like hack through it. So it's in your hands before you then try to adhere it to a metronome. So, you know, yes, I'm practicing without a metronome at first, but not for long enough to where I'm developing bad habits. I'm just like getting it in my hands so that I can then put it in time. I also have the play along tracks queued up here. So once I'm able to string phrases together, I'll use that and play along to that instead of a metronome, just to get my ears used to that because that's what I'm actually going to be listening to when I make the video. So it looks like at the beginning here we have some sort of slow and big kind of impact moment. Try it with the track. Some of the stickings and stuff like aren't like totally natural to me, um, but like as as I'm getting more and more comfortable with it, the more it starts to flow, um, and the more I like it. Actually, yeah, this is exciting. Woo! 
All right, guys, I'm gonna end my practice session there. I just spent like maybe a little over an hour here getting the parts comfortable in my hands and I feel really good about it. The, the music is really cool. Um, I am definitely, it, it definitely exceeded my expectations. It is you know, challenging and it's, and it's fun to play. All right, that's it for now. Um, I'll see you guys again tomorrow. Well, for you, it'll be a couple seconds, but for me, it'll be tomorrow uh, when I actually go out and film this thing. So, peace. All right, so I'm about to head out. Um, I have my car loaded up here. So I have quite a bit of stuff with me. I have my drum here. It's a Pearl, it's my uh, skull line drum. Um, I have a stand for the drum. I have my tripod and my camera bag here. Uh, my laptop back there in case I need it. Um, and then in here I have my, uh, my black t-shirt that I'm supposed to wear, um, as well as some sticks. And I have my inner monitors that I'm gonna use for the, uh, uh, the track I play along to. Uh, let's see, and then I have, you know, of course I have some water because it's actually pretty hot outside today and hydrate or dehydrate. All right, I just uh, stopped by my parents' house in Eden Prairie to uh, pick up a music stand, which you can see right there, um, as well as print off the music. I don't have a printer in my apartment. So um, yeah, I think I officially have everything I need now to go film this thing. I was thinking I would go try um, to set up by the high school, the Eden Prairie High School. Um, and if that doesn't work, I'll just go to uh, the same spot I filmed the, my Skullina edition at. I found that it's a little easier because I, I live in Minneapolis, but it's it's definitely easier to find uh, kind of good spots to film drum videos outside where you know you're a little more uh, removed from people and you're not bothering anybody uh, with the noise. So uh, yeah, let's go uh, find a spot. spot all right so we're all set up here um, I got the camera I have just an entry-level DSLR a, a Canon T6i um, the instructions were pretty clear as far as like how the framing should be and I need to ha I have my settings at you know HD 30 frames per second uh, so everything looks good it's a um, kind of non distracting background it's just a brick wall I'm recording just using this pretty cheap Rode Video Micro. It's not the best thing to record drum audio with, but it, it, it does all right. Yeah, I got my music on the stand here, and then here is the drum. Uh, and I have my inner monitors here to, uh, to both protect my hearing and uh, allow me to listen to uh, the track. So uh, I'm gonna get going on this. Hopefully I don't have to spend too long out here because it's really hot out <laughs> right now, which you know, kind of sucks, but it also kind of feels like drum corps in a way. So um, yeah, I'll uh, see you guys on the other side. Oh man, all right guys, I think we're, uh, I think we're good here. I think I got uh, some really good takes. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and pack up all my stuff and then go drink some water and spend some time indoors. Whew, it is hot outside. All right, I'm all loaded up. Um, I'm gonna go to Dairy Queen because I deserve it. I worked hard today. <laughs> Hi, welcome to Fortune Foods Dairy Queen where we make happy. What can I get for you today? Hi, could I do a small cotton candy blizzard, please? Cotton candy blizzard.
back at the apartment now. I'm all showered up because I did get a little sweaty outside today. And unlike actual drum corps, I did take a shower by myself in my nice shower as opposed to, you know, taking a communal shower in a gross high school locker room with 50 other dudes. Being a part of Virtual Drum and Bugle Corps has been a remarkable experience. Everything was clear and organized from the get-go as far as what to do, what to play, how to record, etc. And well, at the time of filming this, I obviously haven't seen the full product yet, but I have no doubt that it's gonna be amazing. So huge shout out to Jake Lyons and the entire VDBC team for putting in so many hours and putting in so much passion into this project. Thank you guys for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. And if you haven't followed me on Instagram and Twitter yet, please do so as well. And leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you thought of the VDBC show. And if you were in the ensemble with me, let me know down in the comments as well. Bye guys.